All right, so I made it to Home Depot. I picked up a larger bag of soil potting mix. This one has moisture control in it. It's supposed to feed for up to six months. This should be something like this, except for this was specifically for seed starting. I'm not worried about seed starting so much. I already have the things that I want growing. Now I just need to get them in soil. I also bought some bigger pots. I got six inch pots. Um, they were about $5 a piece. I got four of those because I have four different basil, basil types. I also bought a tray for each one. They were also the same price. Actually, these were a few more cents expensive than the actual pot. I don't understand how that goes, but I understand how they get you. So it basically is $10 per set. And I have $40 worth of pots right here just with four, four pots. And then I got one of these right here because I have this big pot right here and it doesn't have a base to it. So I wanted to just give it something to sit in. I did not realize it was going to be that much bigger, but it's going to work. And then I got this because I was tired of using these little water bottles with holes in the top to water each plant. I'm going to start using that just to, for ease of use. And I can also put fertilizer inside of there if I need to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to use water because most of it is already in there. I am going to pot up my basil and I'm going to keep my basil over here in the corner instead of up here and I'm going to put lighting on it. This is the new setup and I am going to go ahead and pot, repot those and I might even pot those inside with it. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to put the best of each basil plant inside of one of these pots and I'm going to start growing it over here in the corner. So we're going to get started. So these are all the things that I managed to get repotted. I went ahead and potted these in soil. I didn't take out all the the stuff that was in it. I just added some soil to it. That's an apple seed that I had taken out of an apple and it's starting to grow. I put it in its own container. I did not have a base for it, so I used this pot to catch the water. I have not watered anything yet. I'm gonna do that now. Uh, I moved all the basil. The basil that were in these right here, I took them out of the, the pots and I put them in there. The healthiest looking basil of each kind went in the six inch pot. And then I believe these are probably four inch pots. I put the second best basil of each kind in there. And then I put mini tomatoes in there. I'm gonna try and grow the tomatoes indoors and see what they do. Those are the basils that I have left. I'm probably gonna put those in styrofoam cups or in some kind of cup. I'm gonna grow them and I'm gonna give them away. Uh, I'm gonna see how the basil here performs. And as they grow, I'll start separating them and giving them away as well. All the other dirt that came out, the fake dirt or whatever this stuff is, I went ahead and just started dumping that stuff outside. I have this many pots left over now and I'm gonna start putting the strawberry inside of those, but I'm gonna use real dirt. There's one tomato left. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that yet. And then these things right here, uh, the chives and stuff like that, I will find a pot for those once they are ready to start uh, getting repotted. The watermelon will be going outside. I will be starting a new time lapse. I'm doing a time lapse of this stuff right here. I just wanted to have something going, something growing something showing. Uh, I will be putting these strawberries inside of these cups right here, and then I will start a time lapse of that. But everything is going good. Now I will start watering in to see how it goes. I just want to, let's start with this one right here and let's water it in. This new little pour is actually working pretty well. I don't wanna overdo it, but I wanna water it down so everything gets watered. And just like that, I'm already out of water. So I gotta go refill. And there we have it. Everything is watered in and we use this. It filled, We need to fill it up twice to water everything in, but this is going to be nice because it'll make it so I can reach things like this a lot easier to water them. We're going to keep using it. The new setup is looking good. Everything repotted. I got my basil in the front. I put them in six inch pots and then I got a tomato growing right there, a mini tomato. I have chives growing, parsley growing, and then more basil, the four, same four that were in the pots. And then once again, the same four. So I have six inch pots, four inch pots, and I think these are two inch pots and they're all growing the same kinds of basil. I just wanna see if how they grow differently in different size pots. Uh, this is all strawberry. And then I have a few random things going. I got watermelon, uh, apple seed that I got out of an apple. I have a piece of, it's not garlic, it is, ginger that is ginger in there i don't know what that one is and that one in the back is tomato back here the last one in the back that one is tomato 
And then that is mint right there. And so what I did is I went ahead, I had some light fixtures that I just mounted to the wall to shine on this area right here. But I just went on Amazon and I ordered this grow light, right? Or these uh, grow lights, they were two in a pack and they cost me about $9 on Amazon. So I'm gonna be putting these lights inside of these two and they're shining directly on this. Let me get you a better view. So both lights are shining directionally on that. And I plan on just putting these in and leaving them running so that these get some like artificial sunlight. Uh, they had good reviews on it. I will be putting them in and seeing how they look. They've been doing great since I put them in. All the leaves are starting to, um, starting to get bigger, fuller, and they're looking good. This is the first one that is starting to bush out right here. If you look, I've made a couple cuts and the leaves are starting to bush out on it. So I'm very happy with how that looks. This is just normal LED light. There's no grow light in it or anything. It's just normal LED and I got them from Costco. This one I bought from Amazon. We're about to put these in and see what the difference is. This is what the lighting looks like now. Let's give you a, that's what the lighting looks like now. And the bulbs that I'm using are actually protruding out a little bit. So we'll see how the new one goes. So that is the old bulbs that I just took out. And, oh, oh don't wanna drop them. Oh, those boys are hot. The new bulbs, this is what they look like when they come out the pack. Now this is supposed to be 11, they're supposed to be 11 watts is what they use. And I believe they're supposed to have a 100 watt output. We'll see, but that's what it says on the box. I'm not gonna go through and read everything. They're full spectrum LED grow lights for all stages of plant growth. And like I said, it's 11, 11 watts non-dimmable. I don't know what all that stuff means and I'm not gonna act like I do, but it says it's full spectrum. Let's pull one out right quick and see what it looks like in comparison to the other bulb. They are much smaller. They look like a regular light size bulb, like it's a regular light bulb. That's how they come. So in size, you can see the difference in size, but this is the original size of a light bulb. Those are just a tad bit bigger. So I'm gonna take this one and just put it in here like so. It is much smaller. Oh, it's so much smaller. I can't even, I can't get it out. Ah. Oh man, it got stuck in there. That's bad. Oh, and it's not a hard top, so there we go. Let's see if I can get it in right this time. It is much, much smaller, but it is working. All right, so that one's in. Now let's turn that on and see what it looks like. It's nowhere near as bright as the other one. Not at all. It's a different color light. It seems like a lot less light too, but it's gonna work. Let's go ahead and get the second one in right quick. It's not in there. It's since with it being so much smaller, it's harder to get inside of the, there we go. A whole lot less light, a lot less light. That one's in too now, let's turn it on. All right, nowhere near as much light, but it's supposed to be grow light. So it's gonna work. It is definitely gonna work. So inside the box, it also came with, it looks like, I don't know. Here, let's read this side, but anyway. That's what the new grow light and the new setup is gonna look like for the basil and the tomato that's over here. I'm gonna leave those like that. And then everything else I'm gonna leave up here under this regular, just grow under this regular LED lights. But I just wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing and a review and show also what we have going on here. But this is basically full spectrum grow light LED, grow light LED designed to fit your plant's growth stage. And I just got it today. Thank y'all for tuning in and we out.